Bonjour. Euh, qui êtes-vous? Euh, Voulez-vous répéter, s'il vous plaît? Ah, Célina, international. Qui est-ce que vous voulez? Euh, oh, Monsieur Dupont. C'est quel poste? Poste? Attendez, attendez. Poste, poste. Oh God. That's Bloggs. Poor Bloggs. He looks a bit like me, but that's where the similarity ends. What do I do now? Can't make the calls. I almost got through. Won't make the sales. Why can't they speak English? But they don't. I'll get the push. Very likely. Unless you learn how to perform rather better on the telephone in French. I'll do it. Good. The course starts now. <laughs> Foreigners talk fast. They seem to talk even faster on the phone when you can't see their lips move. It can be unnerving. But if you've got something to ask or tell or sell, phoning is the quickest way. However, even if the person you're phoning speaks perfect English, you've still got to get past the secretary's office and still worse, the switchboard. Hello, oui? Uh, Monsieur Dupont, s'il vous plaît. C'est quel poste? Poste? Ah, vous êtes le bureau de poste. Mais non, c'est ici le 42 56 78 54. Oh, oh pa pardon, madame. Euh, je n'ai pas compris. C'est ici le 42 56 78 54. Qui est-ce que vous voulez Ah, monsieur Dupont. C'est quel poste Oh, God. If only someone had told him that post means extension. C'est quel poste C'est le poste euh, 274. Le 274, ne quittez pas. Allô Je voudrais parler à Monsieur Dupont. C'est de la part de qui On whose behalf No, no. It means, what's your name Quand je dis de la part de qui, je veux dire quel est votre nom. So why didn't they say so in the first place? And so Bloggs fails again. He is now entirely wrong-footed and he hasn't even got to Dupont. Which means that he doesn't know that I made the sale for Dynamic Quizzo, his company's arch rival, three hours ago. I had no trouble whatsoever getting through to Monsieur Dupont. Henri, I know him socially. Actually, the language of the telephone isn't particularly difficult. Think of it as a kind of jargon. There are lots of permutations, but some words and phrases keep recurring. Now, let's start with words for things. Voici un poste de téléphone. C'est un poste à cadran. Le cadran. Le combiné. Ceci est un poste à clavier. Pour utiliser un poste à clavier, on enfonce les touches.
on décroche le combiné. On raccroche le combiné. Pour téléphoner, on décroche le combiné et on compose le numéro. Je vais appeler Georges. Je vais appeler Georges. Il faut que je téléphone à Georges. Il faut que je téléphone à Georges. Je vais passer un coup de fil à Georges. Je vais passer un coup de fil à Georges. So now you know three ways of saying to make a call. Je vais passer un coup de fil à Monsieur Dupont. Not yet. You may find that one sentence isn't quite enough. There's a little more to it than that. For instance, l'orthographe. Comment ça s'écrit? You will often be asked to spell your name or the name of your firm or department. Je vous demande d'épeler ce nom, s'il vous plaît. Here is the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D. Oh, not now, not now. Use your audio cassette. Love it. Cherish it. Dig with it in the garden. Drink with it in the pub. First thing in the morning. Au revoir. No occasion is unsuitable. And practice it until you are bored stiff. Je m'appelle Bloggs, B-L-O-G-G-S. Je représente la maison British Bangles, b r i t i s h b a n g l e s Thank you. There is also a more or less standard code. Je m'appelle Bloggs. B comme Berthe, L comme Louis, O comme Oscar. Oh, quite. Now, I've gone to the trouble of writing it out in the booklet, so do study it. You can look at it in board meetings. You will find some spelling exercise in the cassette, too. Now, you will love them. But the next bit is not so nice. The French have two separate words for numbers, and you mustn't mix them up. Le nombre indicates the total quantity of a given object. Voici un nombre de moutons. Le numéro is the specific number allotted to one of a series. Voici le mouton numéro 3. Avez-vous composé son numéro de téléphone? J'ai composé son numéro de téléphone bon nombre de fois. Also worth remembering is le chiffre, which means figure or digit. Voulez-vous répéter le premier chiffre de votre numéro de téléphone? Since you won't be able to avoid giving numbers in French, Add variety and interest to your bath times and traffic jams by practicing saying 65 moutons, 129 cigarettes, 936 téléphones, 937 téléphones, 31 939 hommes d'affaires. Compared with 595 468 moutons, French phone numbers are simplicity itself. We pronounce the digits separately, with a few combinations thrown in. 725-321, 629-3551. French telephone numbers, on the other hand, are pronounced in groups of two. 48, 65, 84, 45. 42, 54, 78, 31. So, build up the numbers in twos from the left. 
43, 43, 78, 43, 78, 69, 43, 78, 69, 0, 1. Notice the 0, 1. Very occasionally, a group of a thousand is used. 43, 56, 9000. Sometimes the same group is said twice. 43, 56, 47, deux fois. Extension numbers, les numéros de poste, follow the usual rules. Now, Bloggs is trying to get extension 274, le poste 274. It could have been le 15 or le 2345. Je m'appelle Bloggs, B-L-O-G-G-S. Je désire le numéro 40, 56, 78, 54 et le poste 274. Bravo! And now, he wants to make that call to France to arrange a meeting with his opposite number. From the UK, dial the international code 010. Pour téléphoner de la Grande-Bretagne en France, il faut composer l'indicatif international. C'est le 010. And then the national code, which is 33 for France. Il faut composer l'indicatif du pays. Pour la France, c'est le 33. And then the number which he can remember easily in groups of two. Et enfin, il compose le numéro qui, en groupe de deux, donne 42, 56, 78, 54. And if you want Paris, dial one before the eight-figure number. Le numéro que vous avez demandé n'est pas en service actuellement. Nous regrettons de ne pouvoir donner suite à votre appel. Le numéro que vous avez demandé n'est pas en service actuellement. Nous regrettons de ne pouvoir donner suite à votre appel. Oh, it's clearly not his day. That recorded message could mean Célinaire haven't paid their bill, which is unlikely or that their phone is en dérangement, out of order. Or that Bloggs did something wrong. Bloggs a peut-être fait une fausse manoeuvre. Most likely, it's his fault. Again. L'indicatif international. l'indicatif de pays et enfin on compose le numéro <laughs> Now that is the engaged signal The tone he wanted to hear was this Cette tonalité indique que ça sonne. Whereas, he got this. Cette tonalité indique que ça sonne occupé. Well, he'd better give them a few minutes before ringing back. So, let's hear some other recorded messages which he is quite likely to get. Ici, l'international automatique. Ce numéro ne correspond pas à une direction en service. Veuillez consulter l'annuaire ou la notice que vous avez été remise. Ici, l'international automatique. Ce numéro ne correspond pas à une direction de service. Veuillez consulter l'annuaire ou la notice qui vous a été remise. Ici, le French International Exchange dit qu'il n'y a pas de such number et suggest que vous consultez l'annuaire, le téléphone directory, or the notification of a change of number 
which has been sent to you. Le numéro que vous avez composé ne correspond pas à un indicatif actuellement en service. Le numéro que vous avez composé ne correspond pas à l'indicatif actuellement en service. This means that the code you have dialed is wrong or out of date. Vous avez peut-être fait une fausse manoeuvre? Uh, do you think we could get on? I, I really have to speak to Monsieur Dupont. Oh, very well. But first, a test. Our special contestant, Mr. Joseph Bloggs, a rising executive from Manchester, whose specialist subject is telephoning in French. You may answer in French starting now. Would you identify this sound? Ça sonne... occupé? Correct. And this? Ça sonne. Could hardly be anything else. Where would you look for a telephone number? Dans l'annuaire. Correct. How many digits are there in a French phone number? Les numéros de téléphone en France ont huit chiffres. Correct. Please say this phone number in French. I've started, so I'll go on. 423-46501. C'est le 42-34-64. 01. Correct. A clear round with no passes. Well done, Bloggs. A few hesitations, but quite a creditable performance. Now, if you want to contact Monsieur Dupont, you may do so starting now. Je décroche pour composer le numéro, l'indicatif international, l'indicatif de pays. Enfin, je compose le numéro de huit chiffres. Les bureaux de Célinar International sont fermés jusqu'à 14 heures. Si vous désirez laisser un message, parlez quand vous entendrez le top sonore. Merde you will find that Zust will convey your feelings quite adequately. Bloggs did not get through. Il n'a pas eu sa communication. He got their answering service. Il est tombé sur un répondeur. Well, it looks as if Selenard International have gone to lunch. I do believe Mr. Bloggs has done the same. This means he'll miss the next lesson. The French telephone system is modern and very efficient. Calls go par l'automatique through an exchange, un central, like this one. If you dial 12, le 12, you will get the operator switchboard, le standard. Le standard is manned by a standardist, who may also be known as an operatrice or a telephonist. French phones are pretty unmistakable as a rule. But don't try telephoning with this. It's a shower attachment. Obviously, you can phone from a house or a hotel, but you can also phone from a post office, a bureau de poste. Some are emblazoned post telegraph telephone, which is what PTT means. The more modern ones just have post telecommunication. This is the PTT logo. 
And this is the French Telecom logo. In a post office, you give le numéro du correspondant, the number you want, to the clerk. The clerk will tell you which cabine téléphonique, which booth you must use. When you have finished your call, il faut régler le coût, and you must pay this charge to the clerk. Le tarif des coûts, the list of charges, is prominently displayed. Où vous pouvez téléphoner d'une cabine téléphonique que l'on trouve dans les garages, dans les gares, dans la rue et dans les endroits publics. On entre...